we'll see that the function is starting to run. And if we head back over to the spreadsheet, we'll see that eventually here, some transactions for the Coinbase API start to populate through onto the spreadsheet. And so now because this code is up in AWS, we should be able to automate the running of this code every single day. What's up guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get every transaction from Coinbase Advanced Trade out of the Coinbase Advanced Trade platform and into a Google Sheet that you control. This is gonna be super valuable for a lot of you guys who want to better track your cost basis and the coins that you have across different exchanges over time. I originally released this code for Gemini, Kraken, and Coinbase Pro a couple years ago, and a lot of people on the channel have been using this functionality and have been asking, can we update this for Coinbase Advanced Trade now that Coinbase Pro is finally end of life. And if you're not already following over on the blog, I actually released this code a week ago over there. So you could have gotten access to it early and a full walkthrough of how to set up everything that we're going to do in this video. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. The link is going to be down in the description. So for everyone else, we can go ahead and just get started. There are two links to code in this spreadsheet down at the bottom under these GitHub gists. The first link is a full script that runs Coinbase Advanced Trade, Gemini, and Kraken, and will pull all of the transactions that you've made off of any of those exchanges into this spreadsheet. And the second link here is a link to some code that's a little smaller, it's a little cleaner, and it only includes code for Coinbase Advanced Trade. And for the sake of keeping this video short and digestible for all you guys, I'm only going to be implementing this code down here. If you wanna see a proof of concept of how to implement the code for Coinbase Advanced Trade, Gemini, and Kraken, I'll have links up in the cards and down in the description to a video that I did a year ago showing you how to originally use this same spreadsheet that we're going to use here today. For everyone else, if you're just getting started, go ahead and click on this Coinbase transaction actions, the second link here in the blog post, and I'll have a link to this code again down in the description. And the first thing you'll see in this code is a link to the base spreadsheet, which again, if you don't have the base spreadsheet already, you can copy this link or copy the link that will be available down in the description. Go ahead and open that. And then you won't have edit access to the spreadsheet. So what you're going to do is click on file and then just make a copy. Now that you've made your own local copy of the spreadsheet, you're going to need to somehow connect your spreadsheet up to the Google Sheets API. And you'll see here on my version of the spreadsheet, the way that I do this is if you click on share, I'm sharing the spreadsheet with a Google credential that I created through the Google Cloud platform. So next let's head over to the Google Cloud platform and I'll show you how you can create a credential like this for yourself. So next we'll head over to console.cloud.google.com. And if you don't have a Google Cloud account, you might have to sign in or log in or something like that here at the beginning. And you're just gonna wanna use the same Gmail account that you're associating with the Google Sheet. Next, you can come up here to projects and you're going to want to create a new project. So we'll click new project here. We'll call this demo YouTube project Google Sheets and we'll click on create. Now we'll click here on select project and we can see that the project up in the top left has changed to the project that we want to be interacting with. So the first thing we're gonna do on this screen is click on APIs and services. And then at the very top here, we're gonna click on enable APIs and services. This is gonna take us to this library screen and we're going to look for the Google Drive API. Looks like the first link here, so we can go ahead and click on this and then we'll just click on enable. Next, you'll see this pop up at the top. It says to use this API, you may need credentials. And so we'll go ahead and click on create credentials. On this screen, we'll click on application data here and then click on next. I'm just gonna name my service account here, Rhett. You can call it whatever you want. Maybe your first name or your last name or crypto a spreadsheet or something like that and then I'm gonna give this a description. So once I've given it a description, this is gonna be the user account to edit my crypto spreadsheet. I'm gonna click on create and continue. And then for two and three here, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on done. If you've set up user credentials and user conditions and roles and stuff like that within your Google Cloud, you might need to activate those here, but I haven't done that, so I'm just gonna click on done. Next, we'll go ahead and click over here to credentials on the left-hand side of the screen. We'll go down and click on this service account that we just created, and then we'll head up to the top of the screen and click on keys. We can click down here on add a key and we'll click on create new key. Here we can click on JSON and just click on create. So now if we see that file we just created, we're going to want to rename it to sheets underscore creds.json. If we go ahead and open sheets creds.json for a second here, we should see that it has a private key and a private key ID and stuff like that. And this is basically going to act as the link between the Google spreadsheet that we set up, this user that we just created in the Google Cloud, and then eventually the script that we're going to automate over in AWS. So yours should look something like this, obviously a little different because there's a private key and obviously don't share your private key with anyone. I'm gonna delete these credentials right after I'm done filming this video. So next back in Google Cloud, we can hit close and come back up here to details and just copy this email address and head over to the spreadsheet that we wanted to share the email address with. 
We'll go ahead and paste the email address here and make it an editor. And then we can go ahead and click on send. And that's going to link the spreadsheet with that Google Cloud user that we just created. Back in Google Cloud, the final thing we need to do here is search up at the top for Google Sheets API. We'll see it down here in Marketplace. So we can click on that and we'll go ahead and enable this API. And now finally, just to confirm that this works, we can go ahead and click into credentials and we should see the exact same service account that we set up earlier. And if we click on that and we head over to keys, we should see that the same exact key is also active, the one that I created today as of the filming of this video. And so that's all the work that you need to do if you haven't already set up a Google account for linking this spreadsheet to your Coinbase Advanced Trade API. So now we can close out of the Google account and we can head over to console.aws.amazon.com. And we can go ahead and set up our automation to scrape the trades out of Coinbase Advanced Trade and into our Google Sheets. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Lambda or we'll search for Lambda if you don't see it here on your home screen. If you if you haven't done this before, you're going to need to click on layers over here on the left and you'll create a new layer. And then if you head back over to the blog post at the very bottom of the blog post, you can see a layer.zip for Coinbase Advanced Trade Python 0.1.9, which is a Python wrapper that I have personally created here on the channel. If you want to see more about that, I'll have links up in the cards and down in the description. So you can go ahead and download this layer.zip or you can watch this video right here in the blog post to show you how you can create your own layer.zip if you don't trust the one that I've generated. And so then you can come back over here to AWS you can create a new layer called Coinbase Advanced Trade and you can upload that layer.zip that we just downloaded from the blog post. And then if you want to define runtimes, the runtime that I built this with was Python 3.9. So you could give it Python 3.9, 10, and 11. And then it should be compatible with x86-64 and ARM64. So now let's go ahead and click on create. And now if you click back up here on Lambda and then create function up here in the top right, we're going to author a function from scratch and we're going to use Again, Python 3.9. And we'll call the function YouTube demo Coinbase advanced trade sheet, we'll make it arm 64, and we will create our function. The first thing we're going to do to set this function up is click here on configuration, change our timeout here to one minute and click on save. That's important because if you leave that at three seconds, it's going to stop after three seconds, and it's going to take way more than three seconds to get all of your Coinbase trades from Coinbase into the Google spreadsheet, probably. Now that we've done that, we can click back here on code and scroll all the way to the bottom and add the layer that we just created. So we'll click on custom layers here and then we'll choose the YouTube demo Coinbase layer that we just created and we'll click on version one and we'll click on add. Next over here on the left below the folder we're going to right click below lambda function py here and we're going to click on new file and we'll call this file sheets underscore creds dot json and we'll open the sheets creds json in the editor next we can open our sheets creds json that we downloaded from google cloud and just copy all of the code from that sheets creds json and paste it up here into AWS and then every time we make a change here, we're going to need to click on the deploy button so that now AWS has the latest version of our code and that it can run with the latest version of our code. Next, we can come over here to Lambda function and we'll just delete all the code that's here in the Lambda function. We'll head back over to the GitHub. We'll copy all of this code and we'll just paste that in the Lambda function. The final thing that we need to do here is make sure that the Google Sheet file name, new definitive crypto sheet, which is what it is out of the box, the audit file, and then the Sheets creds JSON are showing correctly. And then finally, the last thing we need to do is link this spreadsheet and all of this infrastructure that we've just set up with our actual Coinbase accounts. And we're going to do that obviously via the API keys. So next we'll head over to coinbase.com. We'll click up here on our little picture and we'll click on settings and then we'll click on API. Up here, we're gonna see this warning. This is very important if you haven't used API keys before. API keys give direct access to your account. Obviously never share them with anyone, including me. I'm never gonna ask you for your API keys and anyone that has your API keys is gonna be able to trade or transfer crypto on your behalf, which is obviously not what you want. So next let's go ahead and click on new API key and we're going to give it permissions down here to be able to read information from our account. So you can go ahead and click on any of the things down here that say read and then obviously select any of the cryptocurrency wallets that you might be using here on Coinbase. If you use YFI, you want to select YFI. Once you've successfully created the API keys, they should show up here or something like this. I'm going to go ahead and copy this first API key head over to AWS and paste it here in Coinbase public key and then head back over to Coinbase, copy the API secret, head over to AWS, paste it in 
Coinbase private key. And then obviously I'm gonna click here to deploy all of my changes. After I deploy, I should be good to go. I'm gonna just click on test. I'll name my event test and then I'll click on save. And then I'm gonna click on test again. So before we hit test again, if we head over to the spreadsheet, we'll see that I've removed all of my Coinbase transactions so that we can get a fresh load of a bunch of Coinbase transactions from Coinbase Advanced Trade. So now if we head back over to AWS and we click on test, we'll see that the function is starting to run. And if we head back over to the spreadsheet, we'll see that eventually here, some transactions for the Coinbase API start to populate through onto the spreadsheet. And so now because this code is up in AWS, we should be able to automate the running of this code every single day. And so whenever you go to make a transaction on Coinbase, the script can run in the background on your AWS cloud environment and just continue to populate all of the trades that you've made for the last day or for the last couple of days or for the last week or however often that you want to actually run the script. And we'll see here that we exceeded the quota for write requests. So you can run into issues like this where the Google Cloud API is not going to allow you to populate, you know, 100 trades at the same time. And the obvious way to get around this is to just run this every five minutes or every 10 minutes or something like that. And eventually all of the trades that you've ever placed will end up in this spreadsheet. And so finally, to automate this Lambda function, we're going to search for Amazon Event Bridge up here in AWS. We'll click down here on Event Bridge Schedule, and then we'll click on Create Schedule. We'll call this Automate Crypto Spreadsheet. And then we'll click down here on Recurring Schedule, and we'll click on a Rate-Based Schedule. And we'll say that I want to run this every one day. We can scroll down here and just click on Next. Looks like we need a flexible time window. We can just turn that off and then click on Next. And we'll target to invoke our AWS Lambda function. And the Lambda function that we want to invoke is the one that we just created YouTube demo Coinbase AT sheet and then we'll click on next action after schedule completion here we can click on none and then we'll scroll down all the way to the bottom here and just click on next and then we'll review everything and just create the schedule. So now every single day, this function is going to run, it's going to take all the transactions from my Coinbase account, and it's going to pull them into a spreadsheet that I control. And so now what I can do is I can take this spreadsheet and maybe over here in a third tab, I could create graphs or I could create analytics off of this audit file. But as long as you have this audit file in shape and it has every single transaction that you've ever made, you should be able to do any data analytics that you want to outside of this audit file. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. Let me know if there's any other things that you wanna see me implement with the Coinbase Advanced Trade API. I'll have some videos out soon showing you how you can actually earn interest on your US dollars while they sit in your Coinbase account and then take those interest bearing US dollars from your Coinbase account and actually use them to place trades into cryptocurrencies of your choice using the Coinbase Advanced Trade API. Let me know if there are any other trading strategies you want to see here on the channel. I do still respond to all the comments. Check out the video directly above me to learn more about the Coinbase Advanced Trade API and check out the video all the way over there to learn more about AWS. That's it for today. I love you all. Goodbye.